Hello, Facebook world. <laughs> I've forgotten how to even how to even address you guys. Okay, keeping my water nearby. It's been a minute. It's been a bit since I've been alive, um, since I've done anything on Facebook. <laughs> because when you have the flu and you get bronchitis, you feel like poop and you don't feel like doing anything. So I basically have just taken this time off to rest and recuperate. Um, and so I thought, let me come on and catch you guys up, tell you all about the wedding and... <clears throat> um, and our trip to Tahoe, it's been a busy one. Um, so if you, but however, if you are stopping by my page and you have not been here before, my name is Lori Landsberg and I am a beauty guide with Lime Life. And I'm gonna do a look for you guys. I have not worn makeup in two weeks, something like that. Um, and so I'm jumping back in and so I literally do not know how this is gonna turn out. This, this could be a total fail. I'm gonna do some crazy wall color. I figure if I haven't done makeup in a while, let's just go all out and let's just do some crazy fun colors. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this off, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna absorb the um, snot coming out of my nose. <laughs> hey Lorraine, <laughs> I love you girl. Um, I do feel so, so much better, Deborah. Oh my gosh. Um, I do. I'm, I'm alive. I'm here. I'm on. I've decided I'm going to, I decided I have to push the button. Um, it's really hard, you know, I have to tell you, I don't care how long you are in this business. Um, going live can be intimidating. It really can. And um, even someone seasoned like myself who's been doing it for a really long time, um, when you get out of the habit, hey, Amanda, Danielle, there's my daughter, Amanda Fightfield. Change your name back, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, I know a lot of people who follow me are like, there's no way I could ever do that. I could never go live like you. I don't have the courage. I, I'm, it's too, I'm too fearful. Well, we all get fearful and we all have our, you know, ups and downs at our moments where it's just hard. Um, and when you, when you're on a roll, that's one thing. Cause you're kind of in the groove. It's like with anything, you know, you get used to it. But then when you take some time off from being sick or whatever, you're like, oh my God, I don't know where to jump back in. So I figure why not just hit the button, just push the button, go live, and um, and come on and just start talking to you guys and see how everybody's doing. We had the most amazing wedding. Listen to me. Um, I have not been able to post the pictures, um, all of the pictures. There's like thousands of pictures I haven't posted. Um, because I want my daughter to be able to go through them and you know, that's her thing to post the pic, but I'm so, I just can't wait to show you. I'm so excited. Um, it was just a fantastic time. I have been really, really busy and I've been off since the 21st, 20th or 21st because I started having company in town and of course a wedding is a lot. Hi, Isabel. Hey, Brandy. Hey, cousin. Um, so I've just, you know, a lot, I've had a lot going on. Then after the wedding, Two days after the wedding, we leave for Tahoe to go on our ski trip. I should start putting some makeup on. I'm gonna start prepping my skin. I'm, I'm gonna start with some um, makeup, some first face makeup primer, and just prep my face first. Um, anyway, two days after the wedding, we went to, we hopped a plane and went to Tahoe to go skiing for spring break. <coughs> <clears throat> Pretty sure I got the flu on the plane. Pretty sure, pretty sure. I don't seem to be traveling very very well lately, um, but it's not just me because my whole house got it, so it's not just me. Um, but planes are just a cesspool of nothing but germiness. It's disgusting. And I am leaving this Friday to go to New Orleans for our fresh picked possibilities for our new spring collection. I'm so excited. I am wearing a mask. I already have my mask. I've got my surgical mask in my carry-on. I will take a picture and I will send it to you. By golly, I'm walking on that plane with a mask. I will not get sick this time. Um, but there's just so much going on right now. And spring fever, 
spring flu is a thing. It is a thing, and um, you know, I caught it. So, hi, Annie. Hey, Sue. Hey, Doris. Okay, so, um, so what? So, got to Tahoe, um, started getting sick that Wednesday. Got, got there on uh, Monday, started getting sick on Tuesday, Wednesday, and was in the bed Wednesday, Thursday. Friday started feeling a little bit better. Flew home on Sunday, so sick. <coughs> <coughs> I took a wash, don't tell anybody. I took a washcloth from the hotel. I figure they would be okay with that because I was sick. And I did this <laughs> on the plane and I held it over my mouth because I didn't want to get anybody sick. Um, and also didn't want to breathe in any more germs. So anyway, yes, so it's that's all in the past. So I am feeling so, so much better. And But it's kind of hard to go live when you haven't done it in a while. Um, and so I thought, let's just jump back into it. Okay, so I want you guys to do me a favor real quick, okay? When you come on, hey, Mary Ray, hey, Julie. I am, yes, thank you so much. Do me a favor. This is... Um, this is, I'm doing an experiment. I'm trying to figure a few things out with Facebook because the algorithms have changed and all that. Will you do me a favor and will you hit your heart button five times? So right now as we're talking, if you're on here, if you're hearing this, if you're watching this and replay watchers, if you could do the same thing, I'd really appreciate it. <coughs> hit the heart button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm working on the algorithm, trying to figure this whole thing out. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, and if you would, do me one more favor. And that is, if you're catching this live as I'm talking, if it says live up there in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, will you um, send, do a, a post a one, the number one? But if you're catching this on replay, post a number two. A one if you're catching it live, and a two if you are on the replay. And there is a reason for that. I am doing a little bit of research on algorithms, and I just kind of need to know how this is all working. Because Facebook, they can be turds and hide your stuff. That's not nice. Um, you all want to see the makeup, right? You want to see his makeup looks. So, um, anyway, I'm trying to figure out the whole algorithm thing. So, yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so one for live and two for replay. So, if you... Are if this is your first time to my page, again, Lori Landsberg, um, Beauty Guy with Lime Life. We're going to do a makeup look. Um, if you don't want to miss makeup tutorials, if you really like to get different ideas, we're going to do a spring look right now. Um, then just tap my nose and you'll see three dots in the upper right hand corner. If you click that, you can um, follow me and you can not you cannot miss any of my future lives. All right, so I have prepped my face with a little bit of um, First Base Makeup Primer. Now, if you're new to Lime Life, this is the bomb dickety of makeup, you guys. This is like the holy grail of makeup. Literally, seriously, the best you can buy. And the reason I say that is not opinion, it's actually fact. And that is because this makeup has only been available to us for about four years. It has been only available to makeup artists and celebrities within the film and stage industry. It's been around since the early 1950s. It is used by pros for a reason. It's good makeup. It's also very affordable. You will be shocked. I know a lot of people here professional and they automatically think, oh my God, that must be expensive. I can't afford it. If a celebrity can afford it, I can't afford it. But that's not true at all because these are multiple brands brought into one line for you, for your convenience. So you don't have to search high and low for the best. It's all been brought into one line called Lime Life by Alcone. Very affordable, very effective, really good stuff. So um, thank you guys. Thank you for doing the hearts. Thank you for doing the ones, and um, my replay watchers, will, or will, they'll put a two, but I shouldn't see any of those in here. If you see live up there, then you're live with me. All right, let's do some fun colors. Um, haven't done makeup in forever, so I have to think about what I'm doing. We're going to do brows. <laughs> I swear, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really have to think about this. And forgive me ahead of time for the, cough, the coughing that I'm bound to do. <coughs> just can't seem to get past that hump of a cough, okay? Hey, Kara. Hey, Sandrina. Hey, Annie. Okay. All right. I'm going to take, we're going to do brows, first of all. Brows are so important, and I like to do those first. I have nothing on my face. My complexion is actually in pretty good shape right now. Um, even though I've been sick, my face tends to really act out when I've been sick. Um, I get breakouts and just, you know, uh, patchiness and stuff like that. But if, if you saw my picture last night, I posted with my son, Ben, we did Mask of Zen. So that has really helped. Hey, Lacey. Hey, how are 
you. Hey, Ellen. Ellen, I just sent you an email. Check your email. All right, we're going to do brows. Brows are super important. They frame your whole face. Um, if you've ever seen any of those really funny memes out there um, where celebrity pictures have been taken and they've erased the brows, it's really interesting. They're important. And you want to have nice, full brows and um, brows that are nice and structured. And So we're going to do that, but we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do it with setting spray. And we're going to do it with a um, with um, eyeshadow. And my very favorite tool. This is a tool that you need, period. If you have no other professional brush, this is a tool that you need. And this is brush number 14. It is the Brow Tamer brush, you guys. All right. It has a spoolie on one end. On the other end is an extremely precise, angled. Do you see that? Look at that. You could slice you could slice an apple with that thing. Um, and it's really, really easy to get brows with this. So I always use setting spray because although you can wet it with water and water works, spray stays. And that's the whole intention. We want to make it stay once it's on there. We don't want it going anywhere. Hey, Lindsay. So I'm going to take a little setting spray and just spritz one little pump into the cap. I just took the cap right off and I spritzed it in there. Hey, you guys, if you think that your girlfriends would like to see a fun spring look, then hit the share button, share away, okay? That's another little test I'm trying to do. Share away so your friends can see. Um, they can, I'll have all the links and that way they can try the makeup and um, learn a new makeup look. So I have a little bit in here. So what I'm gonna do is take my, my, um, my brow tamer brush number 14 and dip it in the setting spray, okay? And I'm gonna go straight into one of our eyeshadows. And this one is, um, Taupe for the best. Taupe for the best is my brow color. This is what I do for my brows. Um, it's a very popular color too. And so I'm just gonna start right here and follow the line. And I am just trying to really sharpen up and fill in my brows. And if you try this and you mess up, don't worry about it, okay? Because we're gonna fix it. If you mess up, it's not a big deal. This can all be fixed with concealer and you'll see that at the end. I'm just following my brows. Another thing that I like to point out is if you feel like you don't have a steady hand, just take your, the hand you're using, take your pinky in one form or another and just rest it on your face. This is another reason I like to do foundation last. So you guys, I know this is gonna, you're gonna start watching this and you're gonna be like, Lori, you're crazy. There's no way this is gonna turn out to look good. And you might be right. <laughs> Just being honest, you might be right. I haven't done makeup in so long. I feel, do you ever feel that way? Do you guys ever take off a period of time of doing makeup? Hey, Shauna. Hey, Lori and Maxine. And then when you try to put makeup on again, you're like, I need to practice some more. That's kind of the way I'm feeling today. Um, yeah, so if, if it doesn't turn out, well, just know that it has turned out before and um, I just need more practice. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I just keep dipping my brush back into the setting spray and um, getting a little more product. So what we're gonna do here is, this is a uni, the unibrow look. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because one of the things that I've learned by being part of this fantastic makeup community called Lime Life is um, when you're working on brows, this is a really great way to get the symmetry right, okay? So I know it's gonna look a little cray cray and you're gonna think um, I need to click off this girl's channel, but don't, because you might learn a thing or two, okay? <laughs> hey, Kara, Penny, okay. So you see the difference already in the brows. Um, this one is much more um, structured. It's like, it's it's um, better than this one, I'll put it that way. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to do this really fast. So get your angled. Remember, you can use your pinky finger to station, sta stabilize, stationize, sta stabilize your hand, okay? I do it differently depending on which side I'm on. And I'm just gonna follow that up like this and also another thing if you guys are looking for how to actually measure your brows 
So like, where do you start? Where do you end? You can also do that. That's another reason this tool is so great because you can use this tool for that purpose as well. And I'll show you in just a second. So I'm just gonna follow that line. Again, remember if you mess up, it's not a big deal because we're gonna fix it with concealer, okay? So I'm gonna go in and fill in. My brows are, I did the microblading thing um, over a year ago and my brows are starting to fade. The tattoo is starting to fade. So I have to fill them in more than I normally, or than I used to. So we're just going to fill that in as best we can. Now see what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go right in here. Um, I think I need, I have a coating over my um, eyeshadow. I need to break that coating. So we're gonna do just like this. And you see what is happening here? I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna drag it over into the center. And what this is doing is it's you're <clears throat> you're gonna make a meet and then that's gonna let you know that your brows are even. But it also is gonna give you that fading effect that we like right here. Okay? So I know it looks crazy, but I'm gonna fix it, don't you worry. We hope, again, we hope, okay? So you just follow that around. So one of the ways that you can, you can uh, measure your brows to make sure that they're starting, ending, and arching where, you, where the, it's most appropriate for your eye shape is by using this tool right here, right? Okay, <laughs> hey Valerie, <laughs> <clears throat> hey Leanne, and Susan. Okay, so you're gonna take this you're gonna put it at the corner of your nose and you're gonna go straight up, okay? When you do this, that is where your brow should start, okay? If you put it at the corner of your nose to the corner of your eye, here and here and here, that's where your brow should end, okay? And if you put it at the corner of your nose and you do a 45 degree angle through the pupil, that's where it should arch. Crazy, right? It's right there, hey Kimberly, hey Kim. Um, okay, so um, I have my brows drawn on, um, except I will do a little bit of tweaking when I um, when I go through with my concealer because they're going to get it nice and crisp. So if you guys are just joining me, I asked everyone at the beginning <laughs> if you would not mind, because just in the name of an experiment, is if you would hit the heart button five times. Just hit your heart button button five times for me. One, two, three, four, five, and that way I'm just kind of tracking. Um, who is catching me live, who is catching me on the replay. And if you are live, put a one in the comment. If you are on a replay, put a two in the comments. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna count them up. And this is just so I can have an idea of how Facebook algorithms are working right now. Because I know a lot of people um, like to watch my lives and like to see these different tutorials, but they're not always catching them. And that has to do with Facebook being a turd, basically, and hiding, hiding stuff which isn't really nice. Thank you guys, thank you Isabel, thank you Leanne. <coughs> Tracy, I'm not complaining, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling really good actually. Um, I just have a little leftover, I still have the bronchitis, but you know, um, I'm up and moving around, so I'm not complaining about that. But I'm definitely getting better, so thank you Kim. Thank you guys, thank you so much for doing that. Okay, so I've got the brows basically on. <laughs> Looking a little bit silly here, but that's okay because it's all going to come together. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take some concealer and we're going to clean it up just a little bit. So um, if you don't know about Lime Life concealers, what you need to know is that these babies are opaque. They will cover tattoos. There's not a shade you can't get that won't match your skin tone. They are also waterproof. So that's awesome. So they're really, really good. I'm gonna use concealer number zero, and I'm gonna go, and right now, I'm gonna go right up under my brow, and I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. So just watch what happens. So, see, this is what I was saying. If you mess up, it's okay. Also, I'm resting my hand on my face. This is another reason why it's nice to do your makeup. Hey, Lisa. Lisa's like, what is Ben's mom doing with a unibrow? Um, if you mess up, or you have fallout or whatnot, then your complexion, you don't have to go back and fix your complexion because we do that basically one of the last steps we do that, okay? 
So see what I'm doing here? I'm resting my hand on my face. I have a nice, sharp, um, this just happens to be, this is a debut from London Brush Company. Um, not all of my brushes are clean, so that's why I'm using this one. And um, I'm just going to go in with this number one, and I'm going to draw that sharp, crisp line, okay? And I'm going to come down with it. I'm going to just, am I covering it up? I'm sorry. I'm going to bring it down and blend it down because not only do our concealers, are they awesome for concealing, they're also, they double as a an eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to take that same number one, number zero, it's number zero, and I'm going to put that all over my eye. So what, what's going to happen is, is this is going to act as a base for my eyeshadows, which is really, really great, okay? So I've done that. So that's number zero. Now I'm going to take, um, let's do the other eye real fast. I won't talk so I can get it done. Again, resting your hand on your face, but you can see how um, perfect you can get your brows. I'm just going to clean it up just like this and drag it down. So I know a lot of people are really afraid to do their brows. They're afraid to mess up, but here's the deal. Nobody does it right the first time. And practice makes perfect on everything. And I haven't done makeup in so long. I have no idea how this look we're going to do is going to be. I, of course, I would start with one of the hardest looks. Um, okay, so see there? So there, that's just concealer zero, um, <clears throat> which is our lightest concealer. And I'm going to take concealer number two now, and I'm going to go on the top part because concealer two is my skin shade. It blends in really well with my foundation. I use Shinto One, and um, and I'm gonna do it just on the top part because then because if you messed up here too, look what happens. Just follow that around just like that. And this way, when you're putting on your foundation, you don't have to get close to your brows. You've got your brows perfect. You put on your foundation and then you pull foundation through your brows. You don't want to get so close to your brows that um, with your foundation that it messes them up. So, so this is a really great way. You don't even have to get foundation close to your brows. So I'm going to do like this and come down to a point like this. Okay. So see there now, and that's like a perfect brow. Isn't that great? Hey, Danny. Ah, I, I've, <coughs> I've missed coming on, but I'm back. I'm back, and um, and I'm planning on staying well. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Do it real fast. This is concealer number two, and I'm just following that line. I'm getting a nice, crisp, sharp line. Okay, and I'm putting it on, and I'm dragging it up because that way I don't have to get close to my brows with my um, concealer, with my foundation brush when I get ready to do foundation. That's all done, so I don't have to get close to it and I don't have to mess it up. Okay? There you go. I need to trim my brows, by the way. I could, they're sticking out, I could stick them. You know what I think it is? I think it's sleeping on the side of my face as hard as I have been since I've been sick. Okay, so brows are done. And I have, um, now the fun part comes, and this is the eyeshadow. So now that I have <clears throat> concealer on my eyes doubling as a <coughs> primer. We're going to set that primer with some um, eyeshadow real quick and we're just going to take this brush. My large shadow brush is somewhere right here. Okay. This is brush number something or another. <laughs> I'm bad at this y'all. Brush number seven, okay? Large shadow brush. And I'm gonna set this with a little bit of Cream Boat. And Cream Boat is just our light um, eyeshadow. And I'm gonna do some super bright colors right now. And I wanna make sure I get a nice powder base. Otherwise, I'm gonna get really good blendability, right? 
And another thing, here's another thing, you guys. I, I t have people tell me all the time that um, they can never do what I do because they couldn't go live. And I, I can't express to you enough how nerve-wracking it can be for even seasoned people like me who've been live, going live for three years now. Um, ideas. You don't have to worry about getting, you know, coming up with ideas on your own. I don't think any of us have ideas on our own. Um, yeah, it's just a residual cough. We all have it. Like, it's one of the last things to go, Danny. Um, just a little bit of a residual cough. Um, anyway, we live in a community of makeup artists. Like, this whole Lime Life, the lifestyle, this is what we are. We are community professionals, and I get all kinds of makeup ideas from people. In fact, <coughs> I got this one. Um, this was an inspiration from a, um, a beauty guide that I was watching yesterday, so I thought I would try it. Um, it was different colors. It wasn't Lime Life shades, but um, I'm going to use all Lime Life today. So, okay, you ready for this? Let's do a really fun. Um, let's do a really fun look. We're going to use some crazy colors. So, I'm going to show you um, a few of the colors I'm going to use. Is that really pretty yellow? See that yellow right there? We're going to use that really pretty blue. We're going to use that really pretty pinky red. Yeah, these are going to be some fun. I said rainbow. I meant rainbow, girls. We're going to use rainbow colors. And then from our Danessa palette, we're going to use that really beautiful bright blue right there. Oh, my gosh. We'll see how it looks. And you are going to be like, Lori, you're crazy. But I'm not going anywhere, so if I, don't, if I mess it up, that's okay. So, hey, guys. Hey, Heather. Hey, Nikki. Yeah, when you guys pop on, if you haven't already done it, if you're if you're just freshly popping on, I would love it if you would hit the heart five times. I'm doing a little experiment, so hit, give me the heart five times. And if you are live, give me a one in the comments. If you're replay, give me a two in the comments. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. I'm going to take an angled brush, and I'm going to go into this really pretty yellow color. Okay, we're going to start here with that yellow color, and we're going to put it right in the inner corner of our eyes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready, ready for some consistently nice, warm, warmish weather. I do love the um, weather in the 70s. I can stick with the 70s. We're going to do it on this eye, too. Um, but right now, we have thunderstorms in Middle Tennessee. Um, so that's no fun. Blah. So this little rainbow spring look is brought to you by I'm tired of it being nasty weather and raining and let's see how pretty that is okay so we're gonna do this now I'll come back and put a little bit in the corners but I have to put my foundation on so I'm just doing this from the inner corner over to the center <coughs> <clears throat> thank you Heather okay now I'm going to take this little brush right here this is the small shadow brush, and this is a really good brush for getting in tight areas. It's number 20. It's one of our newer brushes. We also, by the way, you guys, if you don't have professional tools, super important. Your makeup game will be totally increased and changed by using professional tools. We now have brush collections, okay? So you can get them, the whole collection. You can get singles if you want, but we also have like eyeshadow collections and um, really good ones. And you can check them out because you can save money that way. Okay, now I'm going to take this small brush. I'm going to go into that beautiful blue, okay? And we're going to do that blue right in the center of the eye. And I'm patting it on because I want it to be really bright and really colorful. So we'll do some blending in a little bit. But for right now, we're just patting it. We're packing the pigment on. Okay, see that? Woo! Crazy yet? Okay, now, now, for the metallic color in this blue shade, I'm going to use my pinky because I find that metallic shades go on better with the free tools right here. It's something about the warmth of your fingers going into those metallic shades. Look at that. 
it's going to go on a whole lot better. So I'm just going to put that in the outer corner of my eye. Pack, see how I'm packing that on right there? And it's going to get better. It is. It's going to get better. I just have to do some blending. But I want to get the colors on there. I love this shade. This is such a pretty shade. And I'm definitely going to have some fallout, but that's expected, and that's why I didn't do any foundation first. So put this on here. So, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, you guys. So if you have ever tried to use metallic shades with a brush, I really suggest trying your finger. So like right now, if you have metallic shades that you've tried and you start to, I am feeling better, Loretta, thank you. I'm getting there, girl. Um, if you have tried to do metallic shades with a brush and you feel like when you go to blend, it starts to bl just blend away, use your finger. Try that and see what you think about that. The corner is where you get um, nervous here, the inner corner or the outer corner. Look how pretty this is. Okay. I did try this once and it worked really nicely, so we'll just see. Okay. So, it's a little crazy, a little bit messy. <clears throat> but, we're going to do some blending and we're going to see what happens to it, okay? And also, you also have to re realize, too, that... Um, that Blending changes it all and then also when you start when you get your lashes on because we're gonna do lashes We're gonna try some lashes um, By kiss and they're called pompadour and I think they're really really pretty so once you do all that You'll start to see that it all begins to blend in okay So I'm gonna just take this brush right here, and I'm gonna just very lightly Start to blend these shades together and I, I do also find that um, I have to go back and place more pigment once I get it shaded uh, or um, once I blend, I have to go back in and add more pigment to certain areas, but I want to get a nice blending going on there. But you see the difference in that? See the difference? This is straight on pigment and this is blended in a little bit. So just taking that line like that and just gently, and when I mean, I mean gently, you guys, <coughs> with very little hand pressure at all. And then you wanna use something to wipe your brush off. I just use a napkin, like a paper towel. Blend it just so that it's like a gradient look. outer corner so that oh my light just went off so as far as how much you put on the outer corner the thing is is like if if you're nervous about it the best thing to do is to build up put a little bit at a time put a little bit and then go back and look and then a little bit more and go back and look and then eventually you'll get it for your eye shape for sure hey Jenny okay all right, for some reason my light keeps popping off. Maybe I don't, you know why? Because I don't have it plugged in. Let me plug my light in. Hang on one sec. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue because I really like the way that blue looks, but um, I, need, I need a touch more. <coughs> 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 Because that blue is so pretty, and I want to make sure that I get the full pigment. And also, when you um, when you finish at the end of any kind of shadow like this, if you will take your setting spray and you will um, close your eyes and spray, then it's going to make that pigment stay there. You're welcome. You're welcome, Tracy. Okay. So see how pretty that blue is? And then just go in and just blend that darker into it and blend that yellow into it. 
Just don't have a hard, you just don't want a harsh line is basically what you don't want, okay? I think that's so pretty. Um, and once we get the black liner on and the lashes, it's gonna look really good. So we're gonna take now, we're gonna take that really pretty pink shade and add a little bit of pink to this. So there's the pink shade. So this, there's two, we have two colors, two shades in that family. This one is called um, Raspberry Beret, but we're gonna use Flash Dance. Okay, so we're going to take that shade with just a little bit on the brush. Now, remember that with these colors, these um, products, they are professional grade. And one of the things that makes them professional is the pigment count. Okay, so now I'm going to take really light-handed, really light-handed. And go into this transition area, but I don't want a ton of product. but I love the way this looks. Again, I'm resting my pinky on my face because I can, because I didn't put foundation on yet. And that's another thing is when the foundation goes on, it's gonna change the whole look of, um, the eyes are gonna pop and you're gonna be like, oh, okay, she knew what she was doing after all. <laughs> Okay, see how pretty that is? Okay, we're gonna do a little bit on this side. Make sure when you um, dip your brush, you either tap it like this to get the excess off or you can pat it on a paper towel. Just so you don't put too much on, okay? So we've got yellow and blue, and where that yellow and blue meet, it turns into a touch of green and we've got the deep deep blue on the outer corners and now we're putting we're adding a little sunset here a little pink to the mix and you can always go back in so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna go back in with this darker blue on the outer edge but I'm gonna use now this um, this is the smoky liner brush Smoky, smoky liner, smoky, what's it called? It's brush number 11. Smoky liner, I think that's it. I'm gonna go back into that blue because I need a small brush to bring this outer corner out where I've got my base laid down because I laid it down with my finger. I want to bring that up a little bit and out because I want to be able to see that right there. It kind of lifts the eye up when you bring that color out like that. See that? I'll make this one match. And then when you're blinking, people can see all these gorgeous colors on your eyes. Now, who thinks they would try something like this? Does anybody think you would actually... You like the colors, Loretta? Yeah, they're fun, aren't they? Um, I can't see, y'all. Would you keep it the same for... Oh, Tracy, I have hooded eyes, honey. I have hooded eyes. So, what you're seeing is on a hooded eye. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I like to come up and out. And you have to keep your eye open so that you can see these shades and where they end up being, right? So this is a little trick um, for hooded eyes is keeping your eye open and bringing that shade up because then it draws the eye up and it gives the appearance of a lift. So when you have hooded eyes, that really works well. Um, okay, so there are the shades. <laughs> now I'm gonna just take a little bit of that blue that deep blue from the metallic, and I'm gonna go take it under here because I love how deep that blue is. And because I have it already there on the corner, I like to just drag that around. I tend to, to do that. Oh, that's such a pretty color. I tend to do that if I'm, I usually just take whatever color is here and go right underneath. Aren't they gorgeous? 
They really are. And just go in and blend those lines. So you guys can totally do this because you're going to see at, when at the very last part, you're going to see the finished look is going to be, there's going to be just a little bit of color and not a whole lot of color. Not as much as it looks like here because we're going to be covering up with lashes and all that good stuff. So there are my primary colors and this is all Lime Life. And we've got the yellow, the blue, it turns a little bit green here where they blend together and the dark blue from Danessa. And then that beautiful um, pink shade here, which I feel like I need a little teeny bit more, just a little bit more. And you wanna be careful not to muddy them. And then it'll be a completely different look. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this. Okay. So, um, let, uh, <coughs> <coughs> we've got all the shades. So let me take put the shadows away. So let's do a little bit. Let's go ahead and do foundation. So you guys can see how the eyes really start to pop with the foundation done. Um, cause it completely, it's a game changer. Okay, so if you're not familiar with our foundation, this is Lime Life by Alcones Foundation. It comes in a pan like this. It's $36 US. It will last you a good four to six months. It's got so much pigment that you feel you only need a tiny bit to get good coverage and it feels like you're not wearing makeup at all. It's so light. Um, it's so great. It's the most skin-like foundation you'll ever use, ever. And um, you'll fall in love with it. It's fantastic. So, what am I looking for? Okay, we're gonna use my brush. I was gonna get my blender full. I may get my blender full in a second. We're gonna put it on with blush. So what I did was, I just squirted a little bit of our Skin Therapy in it. Skin Therapy is our moisture, one of our moisturizers. And um, I just like the way it mixes it together. And I just take my brush and I rub it around in there. So because this has so much pigment, you do have to be careful with which brush you use. Um, if you have your own brush, you can totally use that. Make sure it's not too dense because if it's too dense, it's going to pick up too much foundation and then you'll be, you'll feel like you're wearing too much. So, um, you want a really loose brush. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just start putting this on and you can see the, the difference. Oh, you know what I need to do before I do that? Real quick. Let me just make sure and get up, get the color off the, um, fallout. I'm going to make sure that I don't have any fallout because I don't want to be mixing blues and into my um, foundation. Okay, so I already prepped the skin, remember? We prepped the skin with um, primer. Okay. You're going to watch these shadows really start to pop because when it has a good base like this, that's when it comes to life and that's when that's because then you're covering up all the redness in your skin and so the 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 um shadows are not it make the shadows that are bright tend to make all the redness in your skin pop more so once i get it all covered up it's all gonna look better look at my ear how red my ear is it's also a little bit hot in here Okay, I'm just going to go under here. Now, you can use your fingers to apply this foundation. You can use um, a blender full, which I'm going to find mine and use that at the end because I like I like the finish that the blender full gives. Okay, sorry, y'all. I've got to go around my ring, my nose piercing. I don't know how everybody else does that when they have a nose piercing, but that's how I do it. Okay. Um, yeah, you can mix it with foundation. You can mix it with our must do, our due date. Our due date is awesome. And it gives a nice, um, it makes it sort of like a BB cream. But you can see how it's already starting to take shape. Do you think I'm nervous? Look at my neck. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I'm a little bit nervous. I think I'm also a little bit hot. Let me take this off. <laughs> okay. I'm back. I'm just getting ready to take off this, um, 
this uh, brow so y'all don't have to stare at the brow anymore. But look, you can see how just getting my complexion evened out really makes the colors pop. Do you prefer a brush or blender full? So um, it it depends. It really depends, Loretta, because I um, I like the brush because I can get in the smaller areas. Uh, I like it because I can go around my brows and not mess my brows up once they're done. But I love the finish of the blender full. I love the finish of the blender full. The blender full is also a lot faster than the brush because literally you can take it and you can go half a twist like a quarter of a turn and and it's on um, but it just depends I have all the tools so like to say which one is my favorite I honestly it's so hard because this is the diffuser brush the diffuser brush is great because you just do this and it's on really really fast and you can get on a really thin coat um, but I find I can't get as close to my brows and then I get product in my brows and you know in my eyeshadow and my eyes and mess so like it just depends but it gives an airbrush look so it's really nice so I like that I have all the tools so I can just use whatever I want to use you know on any given day so um, yeah okay okay so yeah doesn't that look great it's not as it's not as crazy as it was um, let me cover up there we go I will take it like this also because you only need a little to get really good coverage, but if you have, if you have extra blemishes um, from that time of the month or whatever, or like me, I had a, I had a huge patch of bacteria on my face over a year ago um, from someone's unclean brushes. Not mine. I'm a freak about cleaning my brushes, um, and so I still have a lot of discoloration. It's all gone, but I have a lot of discoloration. Just take your foundation and stipple it on. Instead of doing this and moving that product all over your face, in those areas where you need to concentrate the shade more, just stipple it like this. That covered that completely up. All right, so now we're gonna take this and we're gonna get rid of the unibrow because I know y'all are tired of seeing that. And I'm gonna just take this same brush to start. <laughs> and then I might have to take, <laughs> then I might have to, get a smaller brush but that's what you do and this this is the whole purpose of the unibrow is just for symmetry it's just to get that symmetry going okay and then you can take like I'll, I'll take my um, concealer brush that I used and I'll do this and that helps get it nice and precise Okay, so see there? And now you have, now you have that brow that has the, um, it goes from dark to light to light to light. And you can even take your, um, you can even take your brush and do this. And if you wanna take even more product off, you can do that. Okay, another really great thing, I mean, another great tip for this is that you know how sometimes when you get a little bit of color, um, um, like um, hair on your face and you reach up to take the hair off and you take off a big chunk of your foundation, if you'll use the spoolie end, like if a hair lands on your face, just do this on the spoolie end and it's gone. That's another good tool. This is one of my favorite tools, brush number 14. It's absolutely a must have. Um, okay, so now that we have the um, the complexion done, <coughs> um, we're going to set it with some powder. Um, our powder is colorless. It is silky. If you do that and you feel it, it's super, super silky. This is what you need. This is an absolute mess with this foundation is to set it. So now that we have the foundation on, we don't want it going anywhere. We're going to set it with this um, translucent powder. And we're just going to do it with brush number one, which is my other favorite brush. Like I say, th this brush right here can take the place of your blush brush, a highlighting brush, and a contouring brush. You can just use this one. This is number one, and it is the pointed 
powder brush, pointed, angled, pointed, what is it? It's my favorite, it's number one. <laughs> it's, I like it because it takes the place of all the others and all about consolidating and not have, so you don't have too many products, right? And I'm just gonna take it and pat it all over the face, under the eyes, and just set this makeup so that it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so you prime, put on your foundation, set it with your powder. Okay, um, I love my eyes, oh my gosh. That turned out really, really well, and we're not even finished. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer number two, which this is a matte bronzer, and the same brush number one because it's pointed, it's angled, it's angled powder brush. Is that right? Somebody tell me. Hey, Sarah. <clears throat> this is bad. I need to get my eyes fixed. I can't read anything. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, Loretta. Yeah, definitely. I love it. I use mine. I use my um, Blender Full Damp. I completely saturate it. And then I wring it out really, really good and put it in a rag and wring it out really, really good so it's just damp. Makes the makeup, I mean, it makes it go on perfectly. Um, I did not use it to finish it before I did the powder. I was going to do that and I forgot. So we're going to take now brush number one because it's a pointed, pointed powder brush. Lord, somebody help me out with that. Number two bronzer. And, um, and I'm just going to put it in that area right there where it sinks in. Um, to create that sunken in look. Start at the, the hairline and move forward. I don't know, I might, I don't know if I'm gonna do, there's a lot of color in my eyes, so I don't know if I'll even do a blush, to be honest. I might just keep the um, primary color on the eyes. Maybe we'll just do bronzer on the cheeks. I think that's what we'll, what do you think? Should we just do bronzer on the cheeks? Dang, I can't see anything. You do need this brush. <laughs> Br okay, so, uh, so <coughs> <coughs> these are two that I totally recommend, um, but let me show you what they look like. This is the new one, and it's, it's even more luxurious. It's, it's got a weighted handle, so it's really, really easy for applying makeup. So these are the two that I highly recommend. Like, I'm talking every single day makeup, this is what I use. Eyeshadow brushes, I can recommend eyeshadow brushes to you as well. I don't wear eyeshadow every single day. So when I tell you these are the two that are must, you got to have brows, y'all. You got to have brows. You can't ignore your brows. That is like huge, huge. And this is the best tool for that. And this is the best for your face. So like, I love this tool because I use this. I just put the powder on with it. You saw me do it. This is the same exact brush. It's just our older brush that um, just happened to be near me and I grabbed it. Um, so I did that. So then you can use it to put on, to contour because it's pointed. Now I put powder, I put um, bronzer all around my forehead, you know, cause I've got this big tall, this big tall forehead and it gives the illusion that it's not as tall because I don't have all that white, you know, tall forehead space blaring at people. So I just shade it. And that way, it kind of brings the eye down. So, like, when people look at me now, their eye doesn't go whoop to the top. It goes, like, whoop to right there. So, put a little bit of bronzer there. Um, I like to put it on my neck. But you can use it for all kinds of things. You can use bronzer to totally reshape your entire face. Okay. So, I think, yeah, I think we're not going to put any... We're not going to put any blush on because I feel like the eyes are colorful enough. But what we will do is using the same brush, and I don't even have to clean it off because I didn't put that much pigment on there anyway. We're going to go into blush number six. We love blush number six. This is a highlighter. You guys, I'm telling you, this palette right here, this is our three well palette, okay? You can choose whatever three colors you want, but this palette right here is a full face of palette. I mean, it's a full face of makeup. Because this is pigments, you can just use it on your eyes too. So if you're in a rush and you need to do like a five minute mom makeup, put this on your cheeks, put this on your eyes, and go, you're done. 
Um, I love this. You can also give it a little pop and by wetting your brush um, and then putting and then dipping it in blush number six. By the way, did you guys know that Oprah Winfrey's makeup artist loves blush number six? Yep. He says it's what every woman should have in their makeup bag. It's fantastic. Um, and it also works really, really well on the eyes. So, you know what? Just like the brushes, the um, blush number six can be used for multiple ways. All right. So, now we have our complexion done. You could also, like if you like to reshape your nose, great way to do it with a bronzer. Just pinch your brush and go up and down your nose like this with the bronzer. I don't usually do that, but we're here, so I thought I would tell you about it. I didn't put a, I didn't really have any on there, but you can always do that, and it kind of thins out your nose. Okay, so we're done with the complexion. <coughs> <coughs> All right, let's go back to the eyes, and I think we need some eyeliner. So we're going to do some black eyeliner because I find that eyeliner is what makes the eyeshadow majorly pop. That contrast between the dark, dark line of the black and those beautiful colors. Oh my God, I love this. I love it, love it, love it. Now, if y'all have never tried this eyeliner, this is an, a liquid eyeliner and it has a little brush tip instead of felt tip so it's not tugging at your eye, but this stuff will not budge. So it's like Precision City. If you love to do wings, this is the eyeliner you need. It is 18 bucks, you guys, 18 US dollars. It is so inexpensive and it is the best eyeliner you will ever use. So literally, if you are a wing girl, you are missing out if you have not tried this. It stays in place. It is smudge proof. See, I'm just gonna line, and I'm using my, um, I always have to look at the back, graceful mirror. This is my graceful mirror because it has a zoom and I can, uh, not a zoom, a magnification to it. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with this shades. <gasps> look, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Aren't you excited for spring? Oh my gosh, if you try this, you have to tell me. You have to take a picture. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's too bad I'm not going out anywhere tonight. Maybe I will. Maybe my husband needs to tell. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, if you do do a wing, you need to get this liner. I want to see it on the, because I can't do a wing because I have hooded lids. If I, do, if I tried to do a wing, then as soon as I open my eyes, my wing would be pointing down. That's just the way it is with hooded eyes. I mean, you just have, you know what? Like, whatever. Whatever. Okay, let's do this one. Oh my gosh, I love this. I, I love this more than I've ever loved it. So, I am going to be putting lashes on, okay? So, even if you did this and you messed up a little, which, it's not a big deal. I'm doing a base for my, um... False lashes. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my God, I love it. I just love it so much more than I thought I would. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and go, I wanna put a little bit in the lower lash line, okay? But I don't want to draw a solid line, I don't think. So I'm doing little dots. Okay, because I do want to outline it, but I don't want a solid line. So little dots in between the lashes. It just gives it a bit of a softer look. Dot, 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 dot. What do we think so far? Are we loving it, you guys? Would you do it? Okay, now here's another little test, okay? If you think you would do this look, hit the thumbs up five times. If you don't, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. If you do the thumbs down, then I'll know that you probably won't ever try this, okay? So thumbs up five times if you think you'll try it. If you could rock this look out, or a thumbs down if you're like, there's no way I'm walking out of the house with that many colors on my eyelids. I'm seeing a lot of thumbs up, I love it. 
I see no thumbs down. I love it. Oh my God. That means you guys have to try this. Okay. So that's that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some lashes on. We're going to curl. <laughs> I'm going to curl my existing lashes, my existing, <laughs> my natural lashes. We're going to curl because I want them to blend up into the false lashes. So I'm just going to curl them like this. If y'all do not have a curler like this, you're also missing out. You cannot get this from me. You can get everything else from me but this. And you can't get the lashes from me either. Um, but I can definitely leave links to all of this stuff if you guys are interested. The Prima Eyelash Curler is the bomb. You can't do that. Oh, you can't? <laughs> okay. <coughs> <clears throat> Oh, Loretta, I, well, I mean, it, you can get different lengths. You can totally get different lengths, okay? Um, you can't do a thumb down. I thought you could. Well, I, that's nice of Facebook. That's one thing that they did that was nice. They didn't put thumbs down in case somebody wanted to be, be ugly and do a thumbs down on somebody's life. <laughs> they need to have a question mark on here, too, so you can hit the question mark. Be like, I don't know. They need to be adding more. Okay, so already, I don't know if you guys can see this, like in the camera, but already just, just um, curling the lashes has already like given it more shape. So I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara, not a lot, but a little bit because I just want it to blend in with the lashes. Um, and my lashes are brownish, so blondish brownish. So just a wee little bit. I'm not trying to get a lot of um, length. Okay, but you can see that. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Crap. Hang on, I won't get that off there. Oh, that's another thing. That's another thing that is so cool about the Brow Tamer brush. We're gonna get that off with the Brow Tamer brush and you're gonna see, you know how, you know how you get your eyeshadow done and it's perfect. Then you put your mascara on and you make a little oopsie and you get a little mascara on your lid and then you have to get a Q-tip and you have to get it off and then the Q-tip takes the eyeshadow off and you're just pissed off because you had the perfect eyeshadow and then you screwed it up. <coughs> you can use the brow tamer brush. Wait, that's the wrong one. You can use, Lord, it's somewhere. Where did I put it? Where is the spoolie? Did I put it up? Is it in my hand? Is it in my lap? What did I do with it? Anyway, we're going to do that. Hang on. This is why you need the bend and snap brush roll because all your brushes are sticking up constantly and you know where they are all the time. I don't even know what I did with it. Okay, let me pick them up one by one. Da 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 Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Here we go. Watch this. I don't know if that's too much. It might be too much. Take the brush. Okay, that took it. That took a good part of it off. Um, and then you just roll it on <clears throat> the mascara, and it flakes it off. So for this purpose, you have to let it dry. That was a big chunk, though. But you know how if you just barely touch it, you can just take your brush and go flick, flick, flick. And after it's dried, it takes it off. You do not have to redo it. How many brushes do I have? Well, I have them all, of course. <laughs> I have them all. I have the last old set and I have the new set. Um, but this is the this is the bend and snap brush holder, you guys. Like this is an absolute. This is a time saver for sure. Um, basically, it opens. It houses every single one of your brushes. It is brilliant. Um, this little flap covers the heads of the brushes so that 
product doesn't transfer from one to the next. And you see how it snaps like this? Right? So it, you can carry your brushes. You can go on vacation. They're right here. They're all protected. But the best part, the best part, that's the time saver, huh? Hi, hi. My, my husband just walked in. Is that you can unsnap it. You can kind of say hey if you want to. You can unsnap it. Hang on. I got to. And you pull this little string. And then it sits up like this. Hi. And it's on your counter, and they're literally sitting up. <laughs> they're literally standing up, and you can see every single brush you have. Where, if you could see my countertop, you would see that they're all laying down. But that's because I don't get my clients' brushes and my brushes mixed together. What you doing? I just came to say hi. So far, what do you think? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've never seen your eyebrows like that. <laughs> my brows? Yeah. My brows? Yeah. Are you not looking at the color of the shadow? I love the shadow, the blue, but uh, but the brows are thicker and more bold. My, they're bold, yeah. Well, I'm doing bold eyes, so I have to do bold brows. He didn't even notice the eyeshadow. I noticed immediately. Hey, I see. Look at all the people online. I see. Um, we have several of the UK girls who got to meet my hubby um, when we were in London for lunch. So the several several of them are on. So you can say hi. Hi. <laughs> you need something. No, I just no. wanted to check in. Okay. Okay. Well, we're almost, we're actually almost finished. Okay, so I have on just my regular lashes. So let's throw on some lashes real quick. And then we will do mascara on the bottom. And then we're going to do lipstick and we will be done. Can you believe that just like a man, he walked in here and didn't even notice my eyeshadow. He thought my brows were too bold. He's told me that before. He doesn't like it when I do bold brows. But you know what? There's a time and place for everything. All right, let's find my... Where is it? Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to use, these are Pompadour by Kiss. They're really, really pretty. I think they're going to be fun. Um, I tried one on last night just to see because they just came in. And I do have to put my glasses back on. <laughs> my husband likes to come in and, ah, oh, Tracy. <laughs> oh, Loretta, thank you. <laughs> Bend and snap. Exactly. Elle Woods all the way. I'm I'm telling you, I love that thing. That is the like the coolest tool to keep all your amazing tools in. You spend all that money on your brushes, you gotta take care of them, right? You gotta get the brush cleaner and keep them clean. I had a client who, um, she was telling me, like I would, could not believe her foundation, how great it, I mean, our, <clears throat> our foundation is amazing, it is amazing. I don't know why every time I see someone wearing it, I'm like shocked that it's so amazing, because it is, but, um, I don't even know why we started talking about it, but I'm like, some the subject came up about washing brushes, and she said she'd never washed her brushes. I'm like, girl, get you some brush cleaner. I happen to have some here, so she got some, bought some off of me, and she messaged me. I'm like, I'm gonna call you and tell you, make sure that you are um, washing your brushes. And she sent me a picture of her brushes washed, and she said it made the entire difference in how her makeup went on. The next time she used it it does because you get this buildup it's not just makeup buildup it's buildup of like oils from your skin when you put your foundation and your blushes and everything on it's a buildup and you've got to wash that crap out of there it's not good um, that's how bacteria forms that's how I got bacteria here um, by not having clean brushes okay so we're gonna pop these on. See, I have a little hair right there, so I'm gonna use my, um, oh my God, I love this shadow. It's so pretty. Let this get a little bit tacky. Let me pop this on real quick. Line it up. Press it down. I like to press on the lashes and press in to make sure that they are sticking at, to my skin. And that they're not coming off. And I had to trim these because these were really, really long. And I'm going to let that dry while I go to the next lash. 
and then I'll come back and I'll pinch them all together. Oh, I feel like that one's not sticking to my skin. There we go. Okay, we'll do the other one real quick. So look at the difference. Isn't that fun? So the other thing too is like if you're afraid of doing lashes, you just got to do it. You just got to do it and you got to practice because practice is where it's at. I mean, these things are not easy to do, but they're fun as heck. And if you do it, you'll be so glad you did. But if you're just starting out with lashes and you want to um, just practice on an inexpensive pair, the best ones to get are um, Ardell. They're inexpensive and they're actually really good lashes. Oh look, it's coming up. Dang it. These are like really, um, I'm gonna pop some more glue on that inner corner. These are really like, ooh, I like them. They're like a co like fantasy. I haven't worn them yet. I've just tried one on last night to see how it worked. Okay. While well, I'm letting this get tacky, let me just see if anybody said anything. Okay. How, um, how often do I clean my brushes? It's like, um, if I'm being real with you, like if I do a client makeup, they get clean that night, period. But my brushes, at least once every two weeks. At least once every two weeks. If you did it every week, you'd probably be better off. And it's so easy, right? Tracy, you totally need to do that. I bet your daughters have. <coughs> so, in talking about sensitive eyes, just make sure whatever glue you get is not just latex-free, but it's also formaldehyde-free. I'm just going to slap that sucker on there. Pull it down to make sure. There. Oh my gosh, I love this eyeshadow. See that sticking up there? Okay, so I'm going to have to do a little trick to get that one to say, oh my gosh, I love this. Y'all look how pretty that is. See, and the eyeshadow comes to life, right? And, and also look at, look. So see, with the um, lashes on, it's not quite as bright. And so you might have been thinking initially that I could never wear a shadow that bright, but that looks so silly. Let me take care of that. Um, but you realize once you get the lashes on and I haven't done mascara on the bottom lashes and we have to do a few touch-ups and then the lips, it all comes together in the end, all of it. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of lash glue and see if we can't, without taking the lash off, get a little bit on the end of this palette knife and just stick. See, this is where my um, graceful, my Ricky Graceful comes in handy. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta, hang on y'all, I gotta get down. Can you see me? Hang on. There we go. See, just stick it on there and I'll press it down. Okay, there, now I can feel that it's catching. I'm gonna press it and just hold it for a second. Okay, so there we go, so now that's on there. All right. And then we're gonna connect it with a little bit of eyeliner and that's gonna make the whole thing just flow. Okay, so let's put a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. I love our mascara. I didn't even tell you guys about this. 20 bucks, 20 bucks for this mascara. It's called the Perfect Mascara. It has tiny little plant fibers in it. I'm all about plant-based, y'all. 20 bucks and, um, and it really helps your lashes lengthen and thicken. Without flaking. It's water resistant, not waterproof, it's water resistant, which I love because that way you're not rubbing and scrubbing on your lashes and damaging your lashes to try to get the mascara off. 
I have to use the tip of mine because I basically don't have very much lashes on the bottom lash anymore, the lower lash line anymore. I got a little bit right here. We're almost finished. Thank you for hanging in there. I know people are like, I gotta go to bed. I gotta go cook dinner. I got to hurry up. All right, all right, so there's that. See, that kind of brought it all together and we're gonna do this side too. A little bit here. My natural instinct is to do this. <laughs> but I'm trying to save you guys that view. Well, I would say I'm just about ready for spring with this look. What do y'all think? Okay, now we'll take a little bit of mascara and just pop it under here just to kind of make sure that those lashes are all kind of melding together. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Make sure it's stuck. It's stuck. Okay, the last thing I do with the lashes is I just take that liner and I take a little bead and just to make sure because some lash bands are, um, hang on, I can't talk and do this at the same time. You can see the glue or you can see where the band was put together. And this helps to cover that up. There we go. And see how pretty that is? Okay, we're just about done. Let's do some lips and we are finished with this look. Um, gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, one more little thing I'm gonna do, I know I keep saying it, I'm gonna post a picture after so you guys can see. I'm gonna go in with that, that blue. Okay, yeah, there we go, that looks better. And I just wanna bring that down because I don't feel like I had enough blue there. There we go. Oh my gosh, y'all, oh, look. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, let's do some lips. Um, 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 um. Okay, so what are we gonna do? I'm gonna do... <coughs> let's do two different kinds. Let's do macaroon. I want to do sort of a nude-ish look. Let's line our lips first. Let's go with some um, cap. This is number. Psh, psh. Hang on. This is number seven, which is Cabernet. We're gonna line our lips with this. My lips are so dry. They're so bad. And you can see that right there. Um, we'll line with this. If you have problems with your lips bleeding, your lipstick bleeding, this is absolutely one of the best lip liners. They're so super cool too. They're enduring lip liners, so once they are on there, they're gonna stay put. But it has a really cool sharpener in the top, so you, when you close it, you just, twist it an extra time and um, and it sharpens it and you have a perfect point every single time. It's really neat. Okay, so Cabernet, I'm gonna go with a little bit of um, macaroon. I'm 
okay? But, but I wanna put some ruby chocolate on top of that. Our enduring lip colors are awesome too because they are they dry to a matte finish um, and they don't bleed at all um, they're super pigmented they're vegan they the color lasts you for like six to eight hours literally I'm not kidding I'm not kidding at all um, and they're great okay so let's I feel okay so we're gonna we'll, we're gonna do a little trick and we're gonna take a little bit of concealer zero just a little bit of concealer zero. And do an ombre look. Mostly in the center. All right, we're done. That only took a little over an hour. <laughs> Did I finish? One more thing. I have to set this sucker. Okay, so then you take your setting spray because we prepped our skin with primer. We got ready for the foundation. We put on that amazing professional foundation. We set it really, really well with colorless powder. Now we're going to seal all of that together. We're going to seal it with this setting spray. We're going to shake it up real good um, and we're going to do this. X and T. And what that's doing is that sealing the whole thing together and making it stay. What do you think? Is it fun? Do you like it? Hey, if you guys try this, I want to see your pictures. You guys have to post it below, okay? Um, but I am loving the colors. I mean, it's so, look, I have a little, hang on, watch. I have a little piece of hair right there. See, it's gone. I'm telling you, you need this tool. Number 14, Brow Tamer Brush. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so like, <coughs> I think it turned out pretty good for like my first time to do makeup in weeks and weeks. But um, thank you guys for keeping me company. Thank you for liking. Thank you for my experiment of giving me all the hearts and the likes. And hey, share away. If you think somebody would like this, share this video and um, tell them all about it. So thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go now because it's getting late. Um, and in the UK, oh my gosh, it's 5... It's, it's, are you guys already, are we still six hours? Did you set your, did you spring forward yet? And we've got some Germany people on here too. Um, so we're like, it's like midnight where you are, I think, or one o'clock in the morning. Gosh, go get some sleep y'all. And, um, yeah, I'll be back now. I'm feeling better. I'm going to come back with more makeup looks. So I want to say thank you for hanging in with me. I really appreciate it. And, um, I'm going to go take pictures of this and post it so you can actually see, but I love those colors. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.